What's up, everybody? I'm Michael Allen, and this is the Movie Minute. This episode of the Movie Minute, we're talking about Alex Garland's new film, Civil War, and this film was not what I expected it to be. So let's jump on in. I think that a lot of people right now in America were expecting this film to be kind of this cautionary tale of the future, which the film was not that in its entirety. This film is not necessarily about political tension. Now, does it give us some ideas on that and some commentary on that? Yes, but this film is more commentary and a look into journalism. The film really explores the philosophy of journalism and why it exists, and it explores the people who do it and how it affects their psychology. The storyline of the film is essentially America is in the midst of a civil war and has been for quite some time. And there are different forces. There's the California uh, Western forces and the Texas Western forces and then a thing called the Florida Alliance. And all of them are upset with the current state of government. That is the landscape of the film is truly this dystopian future that is different from our own, but sharing some of the tension of our current political realities. Kirsten Dunst and Wagner Morrow, they decide as these photojournalists, they're gonna head into Washington, D.C., which is a war zone hotbed. It's even more than the front lines. It's very dangerous. And they are in search of getting the next big story, which lies with the United States President, Nick Offerman. As they begin to start their journey to try and track down this story, Kaylee Spanny's character comes in as a newbie photojournalist who wants to be just like Kirsten Dunst's character, Lee. She wants to learn from her, Lee's her idol, and she kind of positions herself to go on this journey with them. And then we progress into the horrors that America has become. And that is the essential of the story without spoiling anything. So let's jump in and talk about what I liked. I liked this film a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. And it's interesting because like I said, I thought it was gonna be something else entirely. And so the film is very, very well made. Alex Garland does a good job directing this film. He brings out a lot of really raw and visceral moments. I loved Wagner Morrow's performance in this film. I thought we really saw some very human aspects in him and just this adrenaline seeking side of him and then sorrow and grief. We really see a vast range of humanity in Wagner and I really enjoyed his performance. Kaylee Spanny is really good as well. She kind of plays this innocent uh, photojournalist who progresses down this journey of loss and loss of innocence. I really enjoyed also the cinematography. Uh, Alex Garland is teaming up once again with his cinematographer, Rob Hardy, who did Ex Machina and he did Men and he's partnered with Garland a lot. And so he really captured this dystopian future as well as um, bringing us into the wartime cinematography. It felt very unsettling and I mean, that's what you're going for in this, is it felt like you were in a documentary a lot of the time, but just with really gorgeous light and really well-designed scenes in terms of how the camera moved and just lens choice. It really felt visceral. That word absolutely encapsulates this film. Also, the sound design and the soundtrack were incredible in this. I thought that Garland made some really great choices that moved me emotionally in the right points during this story. So let's jump in and talk about a few of the things that I didn't like. One of the things that I didn't like about this film, and I understand why Garland chose to do it, is the plot of the film. We don't get a lot of details in this film. You don't understand why a lot of things are happening, and it's 
a purposeful choice and I just didn't agree with it. I think that you still could have had more details and more plot in this film to help us understand what all is going on and maybe some character motivations. There's very little overall landscape motivation. You're kind of just plopped into this, which feels like wartime, right? You're like thrust into a chaotic situation. But I would have liked to know a little bit more. I also thought that the pacing in the middle of the film is odd. And it could be editing as well. And there was just a few scenes that could have come out. There's definitely some scenes that I felt bogged down the movie that did not lean into this idea of exploring the psychology of journalism. And because of that pacing issue, the editing then added to that. There was just some weird edits in this film. And then the build to the end into act three just felt a little bit weird. There were some weird jumps that just didn't emotionally connect with me. And I think he was losing the audience towards the end of the film. And so that kind of threw me off a little bit. So let's talk about ratings and badge. From an entertainment, education, intrigue standpoint, this film is very much intriguing and engrossing. I wanted to know what was going to happen. I'd absolutely give it an eight out of 10. Uh, from a critic standpoint, the film is very well directed and it's also very well designed and shot. And so I'd give it an eight out of 10 as well. So average eight out of 10 for me from Civil War. So from a badge standpoint, I definitely would give this a popcorn bucket. I think this film is meant to be experienced in theaters. Now, the film is a hard R. It's very much violent. And it's more of like wartime violence. Maybe not like Saving Private Ryan violent, but it definitely is like violence and wartime intensity. It reminded me sometimes of like Black Hawk Down, which is a pretty intense movie. There's just a lot of tense moments and a lot of wartime blood and gore. And so keep that in mind when I say it's a popcorn bucket. It's a rated R film, wartime cinematography, wartime thematic elements. I definitely think it's an incredible film to start conversation, especially around journalism, because it really focused on this idea of the golden age of journalism, where journalists were really, truly unbiased in a situation. We've lost a lot of journalistic integrity over the years, and this film explores that old school, unbiased journalism and what that really means and how that affects the journalist. If you like this episode, hit that like button, subscribe. We'd love to have you on this movie journey with me. And until next time, everybody, peace out.